since the accident, we'd kind of put it behind us. We didn't get the result that we were looking for and we don't feel that the truth got out there. Um, so kind of felt that there was a massive injustice done against my son. Uh, so, so here we are, you know, quite a number of years down the track, trying, trying to get the truth out there, um, trying to get a little bit of a justice and, um, and right the wrongs that happened to him. This has scarred my son for a major part of his life. And so if getting the truth out there can help somewhat to get my son's life back on track, um, then that's what we're here for. What do you remember about how the accident transpired? Uh, just riding from my dad's to mum's like every other weekend and just look, looking left to right, slowing down and doing the right thing, wearing a helmet, everything like that and um, just pretty much crossing the road and yeah, just looking left and seeing it just speeding at, at, at speeds. You wouldn't think that you'd travel travelling around a corner on a footpath like this, uh, on a road like that, sort of getting hit and just being in a lot of pain um, and just, uh, yeah, it's not a spot you really want to come back to. So I, I got um, a punctured lung, ruptured spleen, broken ribs, um, yeah, and I was internally bleeding up until the emergency surgery. So. Not happy. Um, it's not what you want to hear. It's not the truth. Just sort of signing paperwork and being younger, I was a bit scared into believing it all and that I'd probably get in some kind of trouble with a law that the lawyers worked with, with the paperwork and I'd be looked at as a criminal. Pretty unfair. Um, didn't get, didn't get a good chance to speak up and be treated fairly. People have a right to know and they should know and 